Hey everybody, it's Tim Mo with The Bulwark. Liz Cheney absolutely demolished Elise Stefanik on the topic of the January 6th prisoners. Uh, this is an absolute fatality. Uh, it's happening over on X, I guess we're calling it X now. The backstory here is Elise Stefanik, who stabbed Liz Cheney in the back, took her spot in the GOP conference because Liz was unwilling to go along with Donald Trump's lies about the 2020 election. Elise, who I used to work with at the RNC uh, back when she was a moderate Republican before she completely shape-shifted into a MAGA in order to advance her political career, um, uh, she has been going around lately talking about how the people who have been put in jail as a result of their actions storming the Capitol and attacking police officers are the equivalent of hostages. Extent of I have concerns about the treatment of January 6 hostages. Uh, that they need to be released, that the government is targeting them because of their beliefs. Uh, it's all total nonsense. All these people have gone in front of juries of their peers. Evidence has been presented. Many of them have, have admitted that they did the crimes. Many of them have admitted that they did the crimes as a result of Donald Trump telling them to do the crimes. We're going to walk down to the Capitol and I'll be there with you. You know, this is all a preposterous fantasy. But obviously, Liz Cheney, who, who spearheaded the January 6th commission and, and who had her job taken from her by Elise Stefanik because Elise was willing to advance the lies that Liz wasn't, uh, this, this, this chaps her ass a little bit. So uh, the other day, a couple of days ago, uh, Liz put this out. This is what Elise Stefanik said in a rare moment of honesty about the January 6th attack on our Capitol. One day she'll have to explain how and why she morphed into a total crackpot. History and our children deserve to know. Um, I, I don't know if we need to wait for history to know. I think she, we know she turned into a total crackpot because she wants to be Donald Trump's vice president because uh, she wants to advance her political career in the Republican Party. And, and the only way to do that these days is through fealty to Donald Trump because it's a cult of personality. But anyway, Elise Stefanik ended up deleting that statement, taking it down. Um, didn't want anybody to see it anymore. And so here's Liz just an hour ago uh, with this deadpan dagger. I'm told that in response to my prior tweet, Elise Stefanik deleted her January 6, 2021 statement that those who stormed the Capitol must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Here's Elise's statement again. Feel free to share. Hashtag no more crackpots. Um, I am going to feel free to share. And I, I want to highlight one particular section of, of the original Stefanik statement. She says this, the perpetrators of this un-American violence and destruction must be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Now, I think that's an interesting statement for a couple of reasons. One, that word un-American, because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't agree anymore. It was an un-American attack. It was actually an attack that that went at the heart of what America is all about. Um, it was the first non-peaceful transfer of power that we've had since the Civil War in this country. We had the longest run and streak on that one up until January 6th in the entire world. Um, and, and the violence was un-American, and Elise Stefanik saw that correctly um, on January 6th. Though I do wonder. If you remember, on, J on the day of January 6th, there was a different conspiracy going around, right? Like now the latest conspiracy, the new hotness in mega conspiracy world is that the feds did this. The reality is we know that there were federal law enforcement agents in that field. We don't know how many. I think it's Mr. shameful, Ramos, if, if I may finish just answering well, this, let me this, just, is, this is I, really I'm gonna, important. Now. I'm going to go ahead and interrupt you here because, because you're I saying know this, that there the establishment were, doesn't approve of this message. I know that there this, were federal we should agents. be able to talk about this. You're and that it was great patriots that were there that day, but they got tricked by the feds. But back on January 6th, there was a different conspiracy going around. It was that it was Antifa. Showing that some of the people who breached the Capitol today were not Trump supporters. They were masquerading as Trump supporters and in fact were members of the violent terrorist group Antifa. That it was not MAGA people that did it. That it was the far left that did it. And they were trying to make MAGA look bad or whatever. And, and my guess is that is what was on Elise's mind that day is that this is that uh, she had bought enough into the BS uh, that she felt safe to be able to point fingers at the people that did this because it did not occur to her that, no, it was her people that did it. They did it at the behest of the then president of the United States and that many years later it would become politically necessary 
to say that, in fact, their actions were good and that the people targeting them and trying to hold them to account were the bad ones. Um, that is how deep inside the, to use Liz Cheney's word, crack pottery, um, Elise Stefanik has gotten. Uh, it's a pretty sad time, uh, but I do enjoy a call out. I do enjoy a call. It's the weekend, Saturday morning. Liz is sitting around her apart. Or Liz is sitting around her house, Wyoming or Virginia suburbs, saying, "You know what? I'm just going to deliver a death blow to Elise Stefanik and shame her, and correctly shame her, and make very clear, based on her own words from January 6th, that this latest bull um, is just that, and that Elise Stefanik knows that and knows better." Um, okay. Hope you enjoyed that little takedown from base Liz Cheney. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow with Fred Guttenberg um, discussing uh, the fight to protect our democracy and uh, the fight against gun violence. It's a really, really great conversation. I taped it yesterday. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Um, make sure to subscribe to the feed. We'll talk to you all soon. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts, uh, you get bonus newsletters, you get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, you can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, we'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, we have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.